Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. <laughs> The top secret messaging app Wicker has released its own guide to personal online security in the form of psychedelic cat gifts. The images are obviously very cute and spacey, but at the same time they do bring up some security concerns, like making sure you cover your smart TV's camera in light of the recent Samsung TV news. Reminders to always assume that if you're using public Wi-Fi, getting hacked is a possibility. And a dire warning to turn off your geotagging on Instagram because, are you kidding me right meow? Star Wars superfan and documentary filmmaker Jamie Benning revisited the puppetry in Return of the Jedi in a short documentary about the making and operation of one of the most famous puppets of all time, Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt took three puppeteers to operate and is one of the largest and most expensive puppets ever built. In his film, Jamie interviews puppeteer Toby Philpot, who controlled the left arm and tongue of Jabba the Hutt. He talks about George Lucas' first impressions of the puppet and how the idea of a CGI character was being thrown around even back in the early 80s. We'll thank the Sith Lords that the technology just hadn't caught up to George Lucas' early vision yet. You can watch the entire documentary at Jamie's blog, Filmumentary. Kegadroid is currently raising funds on Kickstarter to take every bartender's job in San Francisco and fulfill the tech elite's plans of a hipster tech utopia. The Kegadroid glides around on a wheeled platform, is controlled via remote control, and comes with a CO2 tank, regulator, and tap system. It can hold a medium-sized keg comfortably and will cost early bird pledgers a whopping $2,100. It's all good, I'll just go to the fridge. The Shower of the Future was developed by Sweden-based company Orbital Systems in what the company describes as an academic collaboration project with NASA. The shower recycles the water you wash with, cleaning and filtering it again and again, saving the user up to 90% of regular water use in standard showers. The Shower of the Future comes in either a standalone cabinet or floor integrated version and collects the wastewater in a special drain containing two filter capsules, a micro capsule and a nano capsule. The micro capsule filters large particles from the water like skin, sand, and hair, while the nano capsule eliminates smaller things like germs, metals, and oil. The water is then pumped back up through the shower head on a continuous shower loop. The shower comes with an app that lets you know when it's time to change your filter capsules and helps to keep track of how much water you are saving over time. A bright LED will light up notifying you that it's time to change your filter capsules after tens of thousands of washes, and it only takes about 30 seconds to easily switch out a new capsule. The Shower of the Future is currently available for pre-order on their website and sells for between $4,000 and $5,000 depending on the model. Read more details about the Shower of the Future in the Crave blog post. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the stylish Martian Notifier smartwatch with classic analog style and advanced phone alerts. Go to the blog and enter to win. Robots on film.